all, you know, your day begins by, you know, rolling out of bed and thinking about what the weather is going to do is often the first thing that pops into your brain. So for myself, I know on my way to work, I'm looking at the sky and is it windy or the trees moving? And then when I get down to the dock, there's lots of things that you have to do. You do definitely look at the weather forecast. When you get the boat ready, you're going into the engine compartment, looking at all the operational systems, the drive line, checking all the fluids. You're checking all your electronic equipment to make sure your electrical system is sound and good to go in case you need to use your running lights or your radar or your chart plotter equipment. Uh, and then of course you've got very capable crew that support you uh, through and through, getting help getting the boat ready. And then we go have fun, we go find critters. When you're driving a vessel like this, you have to have your 60 ton uh, captain's uh, license. In addition to marine emergency duties, uh, your radio ticket, your uh, seafarer's medical, your marine first aid, uh, and then of course experience often helps when you're wanting to drive the larger craft. Never tired of my job. Every trip's different, you know, I've been doing it for 23 years, probably 5,000 trips and I don't know, 16 plus thousand hours of log sea time in Victoria. And I can tell you that every trip is different, it's always unique, it's like an original work of art going into an art gallery and taking it home. And part of the rush of being a captain, not only do you have to control these impressive machines, but you're orchestrating the experience, pardon the pun, for guests that have traveled from all the way, uh, halfway around the world to come experience what you do daily. So it's a constant reminder of how privileged we are to live here and be able to do what we do. So that's why I like what I do what I do.